I've always um, made music like this. I've always like constructed music with computers or samplers or drum machines, and they've always been realized like that. It's not. It's barely ever been where it's like a band in a room we record it and we kind of mix and put. There's never been that thing, and it's just the way I do things. I think with things like residencies, there's a moment that acclimate to what what you're presented with, which is like this new living space that is in a hotel. Which a lot of times I'm in a hotel which is cool, and then you get a chance to set up, which is great. And then you can go outside and there's like birds and insects and leaves and trees. And so here, the huge difference is that is the environment, the immediate environment. Like I have no choice but to, I can't really leave physically anywhere. I, I, I'm so connected in a lot of senses, but there's this kind of like thing that's just pushing me more towards writing and arranging and recording. I've been on the road a lot these past couple of years. This is a nice break. It's giving me an opportunity to, to kind of take like inventory on like work that I have been doing and to see the things that I want to fully flesh out and maybe like create things that um, complement or contrast these new ideas or these older ideas. And so right now I'm just kind of like cataloging a lot of like ideas that I've been working on for the past couple of years because the last piece of music I finished was Private Energy and it was released in 2015 or no 2016. But I finished the actual music, I wrote it on 2014. And so there's a lot of stuff that I've been working on since then that I would like to resolve and have it be a new body of work. So I, I invited um, my friend Adron. She's from Atlanta. She's worked on most of the Elado Negro records since the first one. And she's performed with me a ton. I was gonna see if she could sing a couple of things, some ideas on it. Um, this song kind of made in New York, and then I've been like redoing like all, a lot of like different like melodic ideas, and seeing if she wants to sing on it. You know, hopefully she does. I invite people. I've always invited people to contribute, and I give direction. And I know these people. I have like relationships with them being friends or being like collaborators in the past. And so the direction is usually minimal or it's minimal in the sense that it's like, it's not like written notation and I'm like, this, these are like, this is the rhythm, this is the harmony, this is what I want you to do, you know, where it's, it doesn't feel, it feels, it, it's way more, um, and I don't speak that language. I don't, I don't have that background, so I couldn't even do that. But there is like um, um, a feeling that I kind of express that I want and then that gets communicated and then people contribute in that respect and maybe um, improvise and embellish on the direction. And then from there, it kind of all filters through me where I'm like, okay, I kind of like this, I like this. I'm trying to finish a new body of work. I mean, in terms of specific projects, it's like, it's for me, you know? <laughs> There's nothing hidden. Everything's kind of on the surface with, with what I want to accomplish. There's no deadline, there's no timeline. So which is, which is nice, but it's kind of like, personally, I want to, um, it's nice to have something finished. You know, it's like building a house, I guess. I don't know what it's like to build a house, but I'm imagining <laughs> that it's pretty damn nice. <laughs>